and third place game. It's with tremendous pride that we show you the very best of Caribbean football from Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and, uh, and beyond. Mike Watts, glad to have you along. Uh, we are excited to bring you a match that here in the Dominican will carry some tremendous weight today. It is uh, Arcai making the trek over here to Estadio Cibao to take on Vega Real. Should be a really enticing game here on a number of levels. Two sides with championship pedigree in their home domestic leagues. Atletico Vega Real coming off a uh, runner-up finish in 2021. And while they've struggled of late, this is one of the better teams historically in the Dominican Republic's league since it was founded less than a decade ago, the replacement for Liga Mayor. Meanwhile, Arcai has sort of been there and done that. They've reached CONCACAF League and CONCACAF Champions League. And while we will see the best of Jamaica make their way into this tournament later tonight and in the ensuing match days, these two countries come front and center here at the outset. Estadio Cibao playing host. This is a venue that uh, will play host to Cibao FC tonight. They are the host of this tournament. What is known about the, the nature of this tournament as it relates to the upcoming CONCACAF Champions League in 2023 is that the winner will move directly into that tournament. Two more guarantee their position in CONCACAF League in the fall. And the fourth place finisher has a place to reach that level as well. So this is a tournament that while it primarily serves as the uh, championship in the Caribbean, it also carries the uh, massive carrot of playing against the very best in CONCACAF as well. Arcai and Atletico Vega Real set to uh, join the proceedings here momentarily. There are fans in attendance here at Estadio Cibao. They've uh, made a very distinct effort in recent days. To and hopefully they're treated to quite the show. The video you see from Jamaica and the Dominican Republic and Haiti show that these are countries that have uh, truly embraced their domestic leagues and there is plenty of excitement from the fans in uh, each of these countries for the matchups that lie ahead. Waiting for the teams to make their way out onto the field here in the Dominican Republic. It is a, a truly beautiful sight to behold. This venue nestled perfectly into the cityscape and the uh, mountainous terrain that lies beyond as fans make their way in here to the stadium for today's game. Both these teams hope that they have a future in Champions League that lays ahead for them. As Atletico Vega Real enters coming off a, a trip to the 2021 Grand Final. One which uh, saw them fall to the very Cibao side that hosts them here today. Whereas for Arcai, runners up in the Haitian League in 2020 to qualify for the Flo CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship. And now we await the teams here to the field. What can be said about the opportunity that lies ahead for these teams in Champions League is that it has traditionally been rather arduous. The good news 
for Arkai is their experience with a draw against the mighty Cruz Azul does give hope the club football is taking massive steps forward and they hope to show it again this afternoon in the Dominican Republic it will be a crowd heavily in favor of the Dominican side playing on their home ground Atletico Vigreal and Arkai can hope to get off on the right foot in this group as the CONCACAF anthem and that of FIFA welcome these teams to the field. We close in on kickoff between these two teams at the Estadio Cibao in the Dominican Republic. The champion of 2017, Cibao, back in this tournament once again. They'll play later tonight. Vigarreal, runners up in 2021. This is their debut in this tournament for Arcai. They were founded in 2017. This is their second appearance, and in 2020, the tournament canceled. They're part of Group B. They did qualify for CONCACAF League, and through that tournament, Champions League. Chris Gerald Gedna is the captain on one side, on the other, Olnik Alessi. Ken Pennyfeather of Antigua and Barbuda is the uh, referee. There is Atletico Vigarreal. They've largely maintained the same lineup that they've used to average effect in the Dominican League. They sit in sixth place in the 10-team ten ten league. Right now, Juan Dominguez of Argentina, the uh, goalkeeper, steps back into the starting 11 here tonight. Hopefully those nets will see many, many breaches in days to come. Threats Jose Jaquez, the uh, 25 year old forward from Madrid. For this Big Real side, there is a good international flair to Archive's roster. A few players have been around the Haitian national team traditionally. And we are underway in this Flow CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship opener. A throw for Arkai. Slid away by Atletico Vegareal. Thank you. 
comes out across the halfway line. And maybe room to run here for Arkai. Richardson Thomas starting it upfield. Four winless in the Dominican League before uh, making their way to Cibao for this Flow Caribbean Club Championship. Saw the manager there, Edward Acevedo. It's Arkai pushing it back across. Manager for Arkai, David Shedson, Kalamake. Clifford Thomas, a uh, regular in this archive side. He had planned to be with Cavalier for Champions League. Only to see that side fall out due to visa issues. They were slated to play uh, New England Revolution two games in the U.S., believe it or not. Diving effort to keep this in. It's the archives benefit, or so it seemed. Heavy touch leaves this out. Well, 
Get uh, Jimenez. He's received the call into the Dominican a few times. Has not featured for the national team. One that uh, can look forward to Nations League's league be later this month. never came. Archai has uh, dominated the proceedings to this point. Juan Dominguez of uh, Argentina came in from the Honduran side. Real Sociedad to push this away. Did actually spend some time playing for Sibau. Uh, Colin in the back. Ball threaded through. Handled by Dominguez. Dominguez. Ah, foul. Nearly for Arkai. Just won the Super Cup final in Haiti, Arkai did. Ten team tournament that spanned about a month and a half. here to explore through Thomas. Attempt for the give and go. Didn't get back to Richardson Thomas. Room down the line. And a corner. One by Arkai. It was Gomez there defensively. <laughs> Corner for Arkai, 10 minutes in. Chance to serve again. Flick centrally. Collected and struck from a long way out off target. And again, that touched off a Vigarial player. A blast from Ose Charles. And it was Alessi setting that up. He was able to backstop the service. Scatters off the turf. Another corner coming for Arkai. The service this time bounces through to the backside. Well, it, it sure looked like he kicked that ball over the end line before it reached that point. And so another corner coming for Arkai. That's Clifford Thomas. He was part of the Olympic qualifying campaign for Haiti. This is going to sit up nicely from long range and get sent well out.
Dorlus unleashing there. Back on it. This is the best attacking movement for Atlético Vigarreal so far. Header scatters down to Alessi. And dangerously left up the middle here. A bit of width. Archive pressing in their own defensive third. And an ill-fated slide. Sees possession back to Arkai. Look at the Arkai manager. This is not the manager that brought them to Champions League. That was Gabriel Michel. Back by Colin. Aline to the other side. He is the first choice keeper without doubt for Arkai. Serve forward. Handled by Dominguez. Dominguez. Look it through this back line. One that sees uh, Manuel Vidal. Alongside Guillermo Melendez. Central pairing. Dominican Republic. It's the opening group stage game of the 2022 Flow CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship. give down the near touchline and blasted central Showing advantage. Sk 
scattered moment. Fabrizio Moreno went down the uh, Colombian one of two in the starting 11. Five foreign players for Atletico Vega Real. Threaded through in behind. Red led to go Vega Real. Sliding effort to send that away from the six, but recovered by the Dominicans. Vigreal. Short lived, however. Comes to Alessi. Thomas. Ball whipped ahead. Maybe a chance here for Arkai. Back Melendez. Vega Real these past 10 minutes have looked far more the part. Playing on home soil even if it's not their home ground. It's a bit overzealous and Alessi conversing with the referee. his footing. This uh, turf was just FIFA certified. Great moment for Sibau. find the width. And the service took a chunk out of the archive defender. Lessie back to his feet. Teed up from 20 yards. Swallowing through. Oh, what a goal for Atletico Vigarial. What a way to begin this Caribbean Club Championship. A dynamite goal from the captain. Fritz Jordana. Oh, he took that little bit of space and blasted a 15 yard missile by Aline. 
what an effort. What a way to begin this tournament. Goodness. And when it seemed like Arkai had more of the ball early, there was a good steely determination from Atletico Vega Real. Is there a quick response from Arkai? Not for the moment. Each team will play twice in the group stage. So a loss far from eliminates you from the semifinal. There's two groups of three. The top two in these groups will move on. The winner facing the runner-up in the opposite group. Jedna in the 22nd. Put Atletico Vega Real out in front. How does Arkai respond? It's got a little too much on it and a little extra after the fact. Sees Dominguez down. Dominguez hasn't moved yet. The referees come to have a look. And Vidal, the center back, has gone back to check. The ball forward from Dorlus. And then watch this little extra from Gabriel. Person Gabriel catching that heel a bit. for that manager and for this young team that was only founded in 2014 and yet they're the elder statesmen of this matchup. It's a side that's only scored 10 goals from their eight games in the Dominican League and yet they score what may truly be the goal of the tournament once it's all said and done. Free kick, Atletico. Was an awkward step all the way, wasn't it? Amose Charles. I wonder if Mauro Gomez, the Argentine, fancies himself from this range. Eline inching that wall side to side. this be for target it is but it's off you don't blame Earl Herrera for that effort This is 
been the direct ball. And Arkai has attempted to play time and time again from that center back. Good step, allowing Dort to stay. Through by Thomas. be frustrating for the foul throw. Therefore, Alessi been busy on both ends to this point. throw now. They've trailed for some six minutes. Dynamic slaloming run leading to the go-ahead goal from Atletico Vigareal. Their captain simply Fritz on the back of his jersey himself. A, a Haitian Clifford Thomas, Richardson Thomas. Charles. Lifted long by Cadet. Falls inside the 18. Maybe room to get a shot away. That ricochets over the penalty spot. And the clearance still leaves work to be done. Off the outside of the netting. Well, why not take those couple steps forward and Gabriel knocking it out of the air, attempting what would be a really slim chance of a converted volley from that distance. Played half an hour at Estadio Cibao. Diving header back to keep it. Colin starting it upfield. Thomas putting it in reverse. And what an excellent ball threaded through. Goalkeeper's out. Dominguez got a piece. Kept away by Atletico Vigareal. Five white shirts converge to clear away the arc high danger. Thomas for Charles. And suddenly there's real life in this venue. Thomas, corner Arkai. All right, let's go back to the previous play. There's Thomas threading through, and what a ball it was. 
Is there contact from the goalkeeper? Evidently not enough. And Peterson Jr. Joseph. Who scored in that Super Cup against Baltimore SC. Unable to find the finishing touch around the goalkeeper. Service here. Swatted at by Dominguez. And that let the go Vega Real started to run. They've lost it in transition. Kept at the halfway line. up yeah it's that trailing leg from Gabriel got him Couldn't get that through. Arkai on the counter. Stymied briefly, Thomas. Travel by Charles. Richardson Thomas goes back. There's been room here, that gap summarily filled by Atletico Vigareal. Contact in from behind. That effort wide siphoned off by Arkai. Floated over the back line. Gabriel got a touch that sees it out beyond the goalkeeper, Dominguez. Well, if you're Arkai, they've had some moments where they look fairly frightening and they don't really come up with anything on the back side of it, do they? Pressure at times has caused problems. I'd like to go Vigareal into the final third. There wasn't a lot of support there. Banged across the field by Dorlus. Dort. 
This entire archive side is made up of Haitian players. A stark contrast to Atletico Vigareal. Smashed header down, came short of Joseph. Good diagonal to open play for Atletico Vega Real. The overlapping run is there. Well defended. Harsh slide in to win the ball back for Atletico Vega Real. And all the way down to Dominguez. Good to hear the calming sound of horns. Game in the Caribbean has taken such a massive step forward in CONCACAF in recent years. You can see that play out in the CONCACAF Gold Cup without doubt. Also the growth in Nations League. And the growth of these domestic leagues. And, uh, a level of club that's ultimately reached the, the highest level in CONCACAF, the Champions League. This from about 35 yards goes begging off target. It's never going to be there for, uh, for Dorlus. Clever skip off the turf. That proved to be. Painstaking work to try and keep this. Well coming for Arkai. Touch through. Is this the moment for Arkai to equalize? Referee waves his hands. No. see Thomas having his way in midfield that's been a regular circumstance and then the tackle there uh, no advantage referee didn't see the uh, opportunity blossoming there we'll show the yellow card if that's any consolation Trainer is going to be called. Hey, 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 
couple heavy steps, and it's Alessi. And Olnick Alessi, the captain, goes in the book here. been pretty bright so far the level being set in the flow CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship it's driven all the way down to Aline kick Arkai another look at Gabriel getting the wrong end of this oh step from Moreno right down on him nothing intentional about it but most certainly caught his foot. Free kick for Arkai. Settled at the top of the 18. Cross Thomas. It's going to sit up brilliantly on the diagonal. And a corner to Arkai now, 45th minute. Numbers racing forward. First ball's away. And that's a dangerous effort to maintain the ball for Arkai. And there is Mendy Jimenez. Puts two hands up to tell the athletic trainer to stay. minutes to this first half. Oh, look at this! Atlantico Vega Real came from nothing at all. They've got their second in spectacular fashion. And in the Dominican Republic, their native sons off and running. The finish from Herrera, a stunned Aline. Two magnificent goals. Can you believe that? Herrera just scored one of the goals of his life. That let the goal back in Real. Two goals up short of halftime. Fritz in the 22nd, Herrera in the first minute of first half stoppage time.
final seconds elapsing from the first half. So one more look for Arkai. There is not. A well-deserved ovation for the side from the Dominican Republic trying to lift themselves to the top of this group. Halftime in the Dominican Republic. Atletico Real 2. Arkai nil.
Closing in on uh, kickoff for this second half. This is the Flow Caribbean Club Championship in CONCACAF. And led to go Vigoreal. Two goals up at the halftime intermission. And two brilliant goals at that. On we go. Fritz in the 22nd. Herrera in the first minute of first half stoppage time. Can Arkai turn this around? It's a side led at the top of their front office by a notable Haitian rapper. And part of the Haitian league that dates back to 1937. Although this club calls the year 2016 their earliest beginnings. Down the line here. Maybe room here to swing across through. And perhaps a second bite of the apple to come. Gabriel was uh, very busy down this near flank through much of that opening half. They've uh, taken aim at him now. Gabriel on it now. Good win of the ball high up the field, Dorlos. That deflection is actually going to find itself back into the Vigareal half. And threaded through long down that right-hand side. Runners entering for Vigareal. Bouncing ball, attempt to break through. Pressure. Is Vigareal back into possession. You see Herrera there. What a goal he scored for Atletico. His entire career in Colombia until January of 2018. That's when he made the move to the Dominican Republic, although it was for a rival. Atlantico. Push in the back. Opens the door for a, I think, a Real free kick. Certainly at some point. Goal difference could become a factor, but as it stands right now, all focus on attempting to uh, secure the three points. It won't guarantee you passage into the semifinal in this three-team group, but it certainly opens up drastically more avenues to get there. And moreover, it would be a great way to begin the proceedings in your home country. Step over, the ball launched. The back post pulled in by Alene. He'll throw this forward off the whistle. Bobby, 
Turned all the way back, Aline. If you didn't know any better, you'd think it was Vega Real, the side more desperate for a goal at this stage. First change is going to come for Arkai. And it looks like it'll be two changes at that. The enemy. Something here for Arkai. <laughs> we'll say Charles came off as well, and Jean Innocent came in. So two changes for Arkai there at the stoppage. Set piece for Arkai. Well, intriguing couple of changes here for Arkai. Some of this is you're five minutes into the second half. You play again in short order. This competition is a bit unrelenting in the group stage. Violette and uh, Sibau are meeting later today. Violette and Cavalier of Jamaica will follow to begin on Sunday. This Arkai side will see Waterhouse. There's a little bit of history there. And then Tuesday, two more games, Sibau and Cavalier, Vega Real and Waterhouse. See the changes there. Anderson came in for Osei Charles. And the enemy for Richardson Thomas. Decent little build here for Arkai. Stepping on the ball was Moreno. damage is anything. Not really sure what Olnick Alessi is supposed to do there. That's simply a drop ball as a result. Good officiating to stop play. Maybe there's something here. Terrific save to keep that out for Atlético Vega Real. Oh, the crowd roars for that here in the Dominican Republic. There's still work to be done off this. 
Ball struck, and with a hefty bounce, Dominguez, a touch, will send this away. Melendez appreciates. And a corner to come. Ball left off there by Joseph. And then the uh, follow steered aside from Dorlus. Could Arkai be on the uh, comeback trail? A bouncing ball off the head of Alessi. Back by Alessi. Settled in midfield by Dorlus. Trotting alone up front is Joseph. Solid step. <laughs> Wonderful defending there for Arkai. Back from Gabriel. Ball lifted forward. Spinning Vega Real the other direction. Gabriel slipping through. Gabriel launching over. Dominguez will catch a, a simple ball in the end. Effort there from uh, Biennami, who came on five minutes into the half. Sent out by Alessi. Dorlus turns down Alessi for the moment. Swings cross field. Kept in at the touch line and now a free kick to Vega Real. And does a card come with that challenge? It most certainly will. Alessi's on a yellow card. The captain having words after that was shown to a teammate. Clifford Thomas doing all he could to slow that down once it appeared he was going to lose the race. And Jose Jaquez, who's had to be frank, a very quiet afternoon.
Oh, clever off the back heel. There's contact into Dorlus as he unlocks the wide area and away from Gabriel. back out toward uh, midfield. Vega Real, 30 minutes from the opening three points of this tournament. Another Vega Real free kick to come. He wasn't able to clear it. Little give and go. Contact from the Archai player. Gabriel. And uh, Dominguez. Throws this away while he continues to flail on the ground. The second time he's gone down. gesturing here at the ribs. That's uh, innocent. He was simply trying to make some play on the ball there. This crowd looks on at Estadio Cebal. It is a uh, delightful uh, atmosphere, this low CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship opener. Exactly surely what they had hoped. Usher back by Dorlus, uh, who controls midfield. A little bit of confusion on this initial clearance. Driving in. Oh, it's an excellent finish. And Arkai has pulled one back brilliantly. The enemy.
they always play with such spirit, this Archive side. It's a 35-yard diagonal. The enemy with a tricky move. Takes that space with the angle tightening, fires it perfectly into the upper 90 to the near post of the goalkeeper. It's a uh, horrific goal to give up, all considered, to be beaten in that way. And Arkai now in the 65th minute. Through Lewani Bienami have pulled within one. Atlético Vega Real likely ruining the fact they were unable to grab a, a third goal out of halftime. It's going to be a 25-minute fight to the finish now. The draw most certainly doesn't uh, create massive issues one way or the other. This is Group B, Waterhouse of Jamaica is the third club. On Tuesday, Atletico Vega Real finishes the group against Waterhouse. And one does have to wonder if it gets that far, if Arkai is able to come back in this, and if that becomes an elimination of sort ahead of the knockout stage, which begins on Thursday. The enemy in the 65th. him. Herrera's going to walk away. Moreno. And Arcai in a transition moment. Four against two. Two more Vigarial players enter into the fray and that is a poor use of the moment. And Dominguez will collect it. The enemy has scored that magnificent goal. He knows he got that all wrong. And that sent it far downfield as Dominguez could. The attention turns to a player who's down behind the play for Atletico Vega Real. Atleti, this is their first international competition. They're trying to be the third Dominican side to earn a trip to Champions League. Could join Cibao having achieved that. Take a look at this a moment ago. The way he lands on his right leg. That was where the injury stemmed from. There's room to get a shot away here for Arkai. Is it an equalizer? It's wide. It was deflected in route. It's the enemy who's come in and been magnificent off the bench in the last 10 minutes. Into the 70th minute we are now. He's had a couple truly wonderful opportunities. One he's taken, this. He sees deflected by Melendez. Corner Arkai. Hit off the half volley, knocked wide by Dorlus. Dominguez on the run. Did he get there? It's a throw, and it's quickly taken only to see an injured 
Vigoriel player, Melendez, the center back. Melendez helped up. Archive begins again. So much success down this right side. And it got away from Gabriel, who's overloaded to the right now. <laughs> 20 minutes and stoppage time to go. Nothing in the group will be decided from this game, but you can most certainly say that there will be a significant impact felt that will reverberate through the next two match days. Getting off on the right foot can make all the difference. For Vega Real, they're going to have to wait three days to get their next opportunity on the field against Waterhouse. And as for Arkai, they can all but seal their place should they come back to win this against Waterhouse in two days' time. This ball bounces down. There is contact, and it was pushed out by Vega Real. The enemy will send this off to the corner flag. Corner Archive. Clifford Thomas. Thomas crossing. First ball's away. Pivoting. Markai getting into the final third. And uh, Dominguez able to clean this up with ease. Excellent diagonal. Gabrielle. the enemy. So with things starting to turn a little bit here for Atletico Real, they will make a couple changes. Rivendell De La Rosa comes on. He's been a regular off the bench, the 21-year-old in the domestic league. And Domingo Peralta comes in as well. 40 caps, 12 goals for the 35-year-old with the Dominican national team. He's scored three in World Cup qualifying, three in Nations League. He's scored six in Caribbean Cup qualifying at the national level. Starlin Alba comes off. The Dominican defender. Hakwes, who never really found his footing in this game, not really through any particular failure of his own, comes off as well in the 74th, entering the 75th minute.
see the attitude of this Arkai side. They've been there. They've run the race. They know the importance of what lies ahead here, a chance to get back to CONCACAF League or perhaps bypass that stage altogether. Gabrielle left it and uh, recovers it. Door loose. Still 15 minutes here. Jumping through, drop down by Arkai. Far too familiar, Gabrielle is going to come over and collect it. through excellent Alessi vital intervention from the center back That's, uh, Reginald Cadet the far touch line scoops up ball brought down oh, there's an injured archive player it continues here for Vega Real referee allowing play Goal here could be vital. It's uh, rolled out. Gabriel saying he was swiped. Started both games in Champions League against Cruz Azul. It's his uh, third club, the 19 year old. All in Haiti. Pushed back and uh, corner for Vega Real. Corner Vega Real. Diving header away. Shane sees Joseph off. And the uh, forward Pierre on. Arkai pushing here. Third substitute, second window, and another corner for Vega Real. Manager, all the right buttons pushed. 
deflection, touched wide, whipped across, header off target. The net was gaping at the back post. It wasn't meant to be for the center back, Melendez. Pretty remarkable to keep that in at all, and then Melendez, if there's such a thing as too much time and space, we just saw it. Then the dagger for Vega Real. Instead, it's Arkai here with 10 minutes to play. Without doubt, the Waterhouse of Jamaica is watching with great anticipation. In this three team group, they will play the final two games in the group stage. First against Arkai and then against uh, Vega Real in four days' time. The top two in this group ultimately solidify their place in the semifinal, and they will have at least two chances qualifying for CONCACAF League. Or if they find their way through twice, they advance directly to Champions League. This ball pushed out wide for Arkai. Sit up, Alessi. Rolling away from Dominguez. And out. It's been a, a well-worked game by the 30-year-old. Vidal goes to ground. Well, Vidal coming in from Malka FC in January. Slide from Herrera. Now the attention turns to Manuel Vidal. He also played at Sabao previously. Four caps. Serious for Vidal. Remain down for a moment. In the manager's mind in a different place. Hubert Acevedo so far has uh, gotten this, this right. Former uh, player in the Dominican. Big coach for Cibao. Also for Delphines and, uh, and Mocha as well. up to Sabao in the 2021 Dominican season. A unique playoff format in the Dominican Republic for what it's worth. This will roll all the way down. Arcai will start up again. The 10-team league, 18-game season. You play everyone home and home. The top six move in to its own round-robin league. Yeah. Home and home. And you're done with those 10 games on to the grand final. Both sides from the grand final in uh, 2021 advancing into the Flow CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship this year. And of course, 
That's the nature of qualifying for Champions League and being crowned kings of Caribbean club football will change drastically in years to come. That's away from Gabrielle. Halfway line, five minutes and stoppage time to go for Arkai. Turning ball threaded just beyond the outstretched reach of the uh, Arkai striker there. Pierre trying to make sure the wires aren't crossed any further. Change on the way. Yakel will come in. Bit for there's Mendy Jimenez. That's the third sub for Vega Real. another two and a half minutes. The throw here for Vega Real to try and take a little more time off the clock. Roll all the way down to Aline. All three goals from this game have been brilliant. Fritz in the 22nd, Herrera the first minute of stoppage time would stand as the winner. Vega Real in the 65th, Mawolny Biennami coming in off the bench. He pulls one back here and couldn't equalize her being the offing in the final 90 plus stoppage. It's held by Arkai. Reminding Vidal, who's uh, been down once or twice himself. Time is of the essence. We're in the 90th minute now. Arkai pushing in.
kept in on the near touchline. How much stoppage will there be at this point? Will it be academic? A long run, a blasting challenge. Referee allows play to continue. The ball across is right at the goalkeeper, Aline. Should be five, indeed, five added minutes. Step every second. Big Real can take off the clock now. Would be excellent. Arkai pushing for an equalizer now in the second minute of stoppage time. Melendez kicked it away. To this crowd is standing now. Row Archai. Torlu sending across. Still down on the ground. Domingo Peralta. It's not going to stop Archai. It is out of the scope of play. Chested wide, sliding challenge kept by Arkai. The Haitians with three more minutes to pole level. Swung long and caught by the leaping Dominguez. Martinez is waiting to come on. It is not for Peralta, however. It would be for Fabricio Moreno. Yes, the change will come here. Moreno, the attacking midfielder, replaced by Steven Martinez. Martinez, a January transfer into the club, the 18-year-old in holding midfield. And Moreno, who as often as he plays in an attacking midfield role, plays as a winger, steps off. go well past the five minutes. An injury that stretches about 45 seconds with 30 second substitution. Vega Real trying to break the other way. Rarkai, they can afford to be deliberate, but they can't make haste. We'll find the win. Big Real starting the other way. The referee prodding alongside it. And 
and uh, this may well be last chance for Arkai. And they get forward here late. That's a poor ball. Convergence. Oh, Gomez helped up. Referee allowing play still. Coaches Rebecca Real saying clearly they've gone well over the five. Rolled forward. Surely this must be it now for Archive. forward first balls away the clearance left work to be done still it continues out over the end line corner it would be in the eighth minute of stoppage time if Arkai can found the equalizer. His first match day in the group stage. Floated long, header away. That got out. The ball being called over to send this toward the halfway line. And that is that. And Vega Real opens up the 2022 Flow CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship with a remarkable 2-1 victory. And here at Estadio Cibao, it's the side from the Dominican Republic that raises highest. The enemy, the 65th minute goal, not nearly enough to overcome the effort from Fritz in the 22nd and Herrera in the first minute of stoppage time. Arkai will need a result in their next match against Waterhouse. They have a chance to move forward. And for the home side, it'll be a, uh, an enjoyable next three days waiting for their final game in the group stage. gave absolutely everything and uh, what a what a remarkable trio of goals we got here at Estadio Cibao as Arkai falls in their opener and their search to return to Champions League and for Atletico Vega Real, their first ever win in international competition as we look at the full-time highlights. It was a uh, strong start from Arkai, believe it or not. Dominguez claiming that early service from Clifford Thomas. We did see moments for Peterson Jr. Joseph in the attacking third, but not nearly enough. That ball clipped back by Richardson Thomas, nothing doing. There would be an opportunity for uh, Joseph to round the keeper. It never really came down. Here's the uh, initial goal, the 22nd minute. A tremendous blast. Simply Fritz on the back of his jersey. 
I mean, could you hit that any sweeter? He did really well to control this in the first place. He slaloms by the first pair of defenders. And then he sends a magnificent blast into the net. And the celebration on for Vega Real. What a way to begin. There were chances for an equalizer. And perhaps that difficult challenge could have gone another way. But right before halftime, Herrera, likely a goal of the tournament. If it's not, it's certainly a candidate. Takes it off the half volley, drives it into the upper right corner. A looping ball, no chance for the goalkeeper, Aline, to get back to it. And a team-wide celebration sees it 2-0 at halftime. Vega Real simply trying to keep this alive. And he had a chance to pull one back shortly out of the break. Off that initial effort, that's the ensuing try. Two saves from Dominguez. And this would be a goal that would bring it down to a one goal deficit. The enemy gliding to the right. And off that 35 yard diagonal, a poor clearance and the enemy does an incredible job to maintain the initial possession, find the space, and then to the near post. Pull it back to one goal. The enemy moments later had a chance to equalize. This would deflect away. And at that point, you wondered if Arcai would ever get a chance that good again. On the other side, Melendez. What an opportunity that was. Everybody facing the wrong way, completely unmarked. Half the goal open. And then it would be Arcai down the stretch trying to find that goal that could get him a point on the night. That goal never came. So, Vega Real moves to the top of this group of three. Waterhouse still awaits their first of two group stage games. And for Arcai, they fall and will certainly need a result against Waterhouse next time out if they're to stay alive in the Flow CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship to potentially move to the semifinal. There's a look at the standings now. Waterhouse will see Arcai in two days' time on Sunday afternoon, and Vega Real will be uh, vacant on the second match day. They will look forward to Tuesday. There is more action coming here from Estadio Cebal. Until then, for our entire team at home and abroad, Mike Watts saying thanks so much for watching the Flow CONCACAF Caribbean Club Championship. So long for now for the Dominican Republic.